so in this segment of this video we will talk about advanced features in microsoft outlook so let me share my screen and here you can see after home tab we have view so click on view and there you can see view setting and there you will get all the advanced options related to the microsoft outlook so you can see we have general so under general you will have the kind of like the complete setting for outlook like how it look like which kind of notifications you want categories like you saw in last video that we can apply a category you can uh, uh, tag a category to a particular email that is what you can create from here then accessibility like outlook gmail yahoo and that is what you can set from here and then we have a mobile device like you want to use this on mobile device or not that is what you can set and distribution group you can add from here storage so you can see how much uh, space used by which folder in your inbox so, so that is what you can clear from here privacy and data and then we have search after that you can see we have mails so under mails we have very good features and that is what we are going to discuss today so here you can see compose and reply so in compose and reply the first thing you will get that is your signature because when you are using a professional email you need to set a signature so whenever you drop your email the person will get complete detail about your business about your phone number about your email that is what you can set here and the good part is you can create multiple signatures for example i am using this for my stw signature i have another so i just created some for demo you can see uh, this is very basic so this is what i use for stw signature purpose so you can create you can delete all those signatures you can create if you uh, you are part of multiple department or multiple organizations so you can use multiple signatures and whenever you are going to send the emails you can set a signature for your message for example new messages stu sandeep for uh, reply and forwards i'm using same so that is what you can use in case of your inbox so create multiple signatures and select that what signature you will use for your new messages and what signature you will use for reply and forward then we have format always so from if you don't want that from should be there you can uncheck it otherwise you can use it and then we have the compose message in html format so either you want like the plain or html that is what you can set here then we have reply and reply all so you want reply or reply are both in your uh, message inbox so that is what you can select from here undo send how uh, how much time you need to to undo like five seconds ten seconds that is what you can set from here yes, joyful animations microsoft is out outful suggested reply so all these things we have composed and reply so very effective thing is signature that is what you can do here and then format and reply then we have attachments so here i'm using microsoft as one drive you can use either google drive box and other stories as well but as i'm the part of microsoft 365 and that's why i'm using microsoft one drive so you can change your stories from here then we have rules so rules are basically you want to apply a rule whenever a message is coming and you want to set a rule that according to this if this rule will apply this action should happen for example if a uh, email is co coming from your bank and you want to put them in a bank folder that is what you can create from here if you are getting a message and you think that that message is not appropriate for you you just want to delete it so your um, inbox should not be should not be messy in that case you can create these kind of rules so you can see here you will uh, power community so if i will get any message from power community i will just move to the microsoft folder so if i want to check that message i will go in microsoft folder and check it for example let me and then we have so i have a client alpine and that's why if any message is coming from like message from alpine then it should move to the from alpine dubler i have in uh, their message so i directly want to delete because this message is just we are using for testing so uh, whenever we use message from 
alpine that is mostly testing related because when client is sending email uh, there is nothing like alpine and something like that we get from the the customer email address and that's why whatever email i want uh, i want that if it is coming from alpine tubular it should be deleted immediately so that is what i created here and that's the good part and after that we have another rule uh, let, let me go again there there so i again also created a another rule that is a deleted message no reply if i'm getting a uh, a subject line with no, no reply i just want to delete it so that is what i have as a rule then we have sweep in case of let me save and then we will so again uh, the rule is kind of like we want to take multiple action as well that is what you can do here for example if i'm going and i want to add multiple action i can add here but in case of a uh, sweep uh, what we can do is we can again create same kind of like if a message is from, coming from ICIC bank, this should. So whenever you are creating a swim, that is what you can uh, see here. For example, if I will go here, select this message and click on home and then I will go here and whatever action I am taking uh, from here, like moving to a folder or mo moving to a deleted item, uh, you can see a, a item will be created here and that is what you can delete from here so if you created a sweep and you want to delete it later on you can come here and delete from here then we have junk email so in case of like uh, if i'm getting email from uh, this email that email so uh, i added is a safe vendors uh, domains and if i want to add like uh, i should not receive email from any uh, any you can say like the any email address that is not uh, i think that i'm always getting junk email that is what i will add here so it will immediately go to the junk folder it will not come to my inbox so in cases like uh, sometimes you are getting email from your client or uh, from your vendors or supplier and if it is going to the junk email that is what you can add here you will go here add that client email address so it will not go in a junk folder it will go in your inbox so, so that is what you can differentiate from here then we have filter and reporting then we have quick step this is same like uh, same like rules but uh, these are the step you can just you will use a shortcut and that will happen in case of rules it will automatically happen whatever like based on the rules you set but here you will just uh, use that keyword shortcuts and it will happen in your inbox like you, you will select an email and then you will use control shift 5 and it will move to the swanty folder so that kind of uh, uh, rules i created here for the steps so this is how you can organize your email as well you what you will do is you will go and create the steps and you think that oh i want to move this email in that particular folder and you created a shortcut for that particular folder you will use that short shortcut and it will automatically move to that particular folder so uh, these are three uh, things quite good rules swift and quick steps that will make your life so easy because you don't have to uh, think a lot you just move uh, uh, emails here and there so over the time you will have a quite clean inbox then customize actions like you want to use these uh, buttons or not like whenever i'm selecting an email you can see these buttons are enabled if i want to translate print and these kind of buttons also i will just go and on it so you can see like i will on all these let me save so once i will go there you can see right now we'll get all those like print translate everything will get there so that's the thing that is what you can add and you can see there so let me go back and then we again go to the customize action so that is what you can customize once you will check uncheck based on that you will get all those buttons whenever you will select a particular email then we have sync option you want to sync with your like the outlook 365 so these are the details like whenever you are using your smtp for any kind of like any other uh, uh, email platform these are the details you need to use then we have message handling so this is quite you don't need to uh, do anything here but you can see mark 
display item as a read as soon as they select it so you want that some automated actions like just you select and it should be unread something like that so that is what you can do from here then the read receipt and whenever you always send a response like you want that when a, a response is coming a message should go to that particular person so that is what you can you will always send a response never send a response like sometimes you will get an email and the email is already set up in a way that the person will get a response whenever you will open that particular email and you don't want that in case you will check this never send a response so even he already set up that like he will get acknowledgement but it will not go to him that is what you can set right here then translation always translate or ask before translating never translate like for example uh, mails are coming in english language but you want to change in any other language for example hindi or any other language like marathi so you will just check here so once email will land in your inbox and then once your employee will open it will translate in other language and that's a very good tool in case if your uh, your you can say like your uh, employees are not that much educated or they are not good in other language in that case you can use your native language as a translation then we have forwarding you want that you are going out of office in that case you can select and put the forwarding email and you will get forwarding email on your personal email so that is what you can see do here automatic reply that is also like you are going on holidays and you want that if any email is coming to your official email they will get a automatic reply like i am out of office i will connect once i will back to the office that is what you can select for a particular time period and you can put your message here and that message will, message will go to your sender after that retention policy like five years one year six months one so how much time you want that your mail should stay in your inbox that is what you can see here so these are not for uh, for us these are some settings but we don't need to uh, don't need to understand that so that is what uh, we have the good things are rules swift junk email and quick step then you can also add the action message message handling forwarding automatic reply that is what you can use in your inbox to make make your inbox quite effective so hope you will implement all these rules to make your inbox quite clean and effective.